after you've downloaded Article Post Robot, the first thing you're going to notice is these different tabs across the top here. Uh, and if I go through these for you, uh, browser is going to show you your account details and what you need to remember before Article Post Robot will start posting your content to article sites, you need to log in via this screen, okay? Um, and this is the same, it's going to show you your account details, but it's the same as showing you uh, in um, Internet Explorer or Firefox as I'm showing you there. Uh, the next tab is the article sites and as you can see uh, article post robot is using 451 sites right now and 434 of them need a login okay as you can see some of them don't require a login but four most of them do 434 of them do so this is the most uh, time consuming part of uh, setting up article post robot but it is definitely worth it uh, you imagine trying to submit one uh, one article to 451 sites is just not feasible you're not going to be able to do it and I will come back to this page in a moment and show you the different settings and how to set up your logins uh, the next tab is the mail list uh, you've got 54 mail lists that you can use I'm not using this right now so I'm not going to include this uh, on this video article options this is where you can select your category um, your keywords and your title and your summary I'll come back to that article content okay this is where you can post in your article content uh, author options this is where you will submit your bio or random bios um, email template I'm not using that so I'm not going to show it on this video uh, other options uh, this has got some extra settings in it um, this is the pause time for uh, submitting sites between um, between posts to different article sites uh, is 10 seconds there uh, down here the post configurations we're only going to post to uh, the selected article sites okay you need to remember um, back in the article sites uh, that it's only going to submit articles to the to the check directories um, and you can set it to post manually or you can set it to uh, post automatically and as you can see I got mine posted there automatically um, you can just leave this run then when you've completed all the other options the title um, summary bio etc and the content uh, you just click on start post robot let's go back to the article sites tab and we can arrange these in any order we want uh, either by page rank or the sites or by index and as you can see these are the ones I've already done so far I haven't done them all and the first thing you need to do is go and set up um, your account at each of these article directories and I'm going to order these by page rank uh, as you'll see I'm going through and setting these up in order of page rank starting with page rank 6 and I'm down to page rank uh, 2 and if we just right click on here this will give you a number of different options and we want to visit selected article site which will open up in your browser and what you basically need to do then is just go through and set up your account here uh, most of them will ask you to confirm your account via email address but it's very important that you go to the next step and sign in via your Firefox Internet Explorer browser and set up a pen name. Most of these um, article directory sites are requiring a pen name which is not done automatically when you set it up um, just by confirming your email address. So remember once you've confirmed your email address uh, after setting up your account you need to log in for the first time and set up a pen name. It's worthwhile actually going to submit your first article manually. Just go through the process and see what information it does ask for and if it asks for a pen name then just fill that out and then you know it's done. And then once you've finished at the article directory site, you need to come back to Article Post Robot and right click on that uh, article directory site here and then check, sorry, select change login information and then just fill in your username and your password and click OK. Okay, the next tab is the article options screen and this is where you'll put in your category, uh, your keywords and your article summary as well as your title um, and if the article site requires a subtitle. Um, I'll go through these in a little more detail in a moment but going back to the categories, um, Article Post Robot gives you a choice of five categories which you can choose. Um, there's a drop down box here and you can choose the ones which are you know, most relevant um, to your article content. But what it's going to do is going to submit the article content to either one of these five categories. Okay, fitness, health, sport, uh, and weight loss is going to be the, the theme of the article that I'm going to be submitting next. And if Article Post Robot can't find the fitness category, it will then select the health, sport, or weight loss categories. Okay, and submit to one of those categories. 
Now Article Post Robot gives you um, a, a lot of different options for submitting your summary and your title. You can either use the same summary and the same title on every article to every um, article site which is not really recommended because that is going to be seen as spamming and different article sites like to see uh, a lot of variation in the content. Um, which is what I'll show you in a moment by using these two boxes here. Okay, the first box is the article title, and the second box you can see down here is the article summary. And what you need to do is just check these, and then right-click on here, um, and then you want to you won't do it just now, but you want to select Add Multiple Article Titles Files to List. Uh, but the first thing you want to do is go through on your desktop, uh, set up a new folder with your bio, your content, your summaries and your titles okay and I've just put those you can see in another folder called article robot files and if I just open up one of these for you you will see um, summaries you'll see that I've got um, two different files there for two different articles that I'm gonna post and if I just click on this one and show you that I've got at the moment I've got four different summaries which I'm going to choose that article post robot will then submit at random which is a great option that um, article post robot does it allows you to submit uh, a lot of variations and combinations of variations between your titles your summaries your content and your bio box so first we'll do the article titles right click anywhere in the box and we will select add multiple article title files to list and we will go to my file and titles and then OK and what it does as you can see I got six uh, different article titles which I'm using along with those four I think it was um, summaries um, and it'll choose a random I'll import the summary files as well let me just bring these in for you uh, add multiple article summary files uh, summaries and just select OK and watch then it's brought in those four and we will just check all those we're going to be using all these and then what article post robot is going to do is going to select one of these um, titles at random it's going to choose one of the article summaries at random and then it will choose um, the content again you can either use the same article or preferably use uh, different articles um, what article robot does automatically is bring in as you can see uh, the first article summary and this is going to be uh, I know these are the first ones um, the first article title and it put those in the summary boxes and in the title boxes here and the next tab is the article content tab and this gives you again it gives you a couple of different options uh, you can either paste in your article down here um, or you can choose as I've done here post random articles okay and what you need to do then is just click on folder and we will again we will choose our content uh, choose the file select OK then the next tab is the author options uh, screen which is going to give you your um, summary um, sorry your resource box options uh, again use random checked author option just check that uh, right click anywhere in the box there and add multiple author bio files and again you'll go to bio and we will check OK and again we will just check all of these put in your name, uh, your location, um, put in your website there as well and as you say uh, just a junk uh, email address and again automatically um, it's chosen uh, the first uh, summary box or resource box uh, from my list and finally we go to the other options page and we will uh, leave these as standard uh, 10 seconds between uh, submissions post to selected article sites only and another great thing of article post robot it will check if there's a virus uh, present on the article site which is posting to which can come back to your computer which is a great feature here and then finally once you're ready uh, once you've done uh, gone through and double checked everything it's time to start post robot 